Hey Archer Fish Tank, today we're just going to do some tank maintenance. We got to put in some aquatic plants, we got to clean the gravel, and we've got to clean the filter after we clean the gravel. Hey, we got this. Hygrophilia corombosa aquatic plant. Just bought it from PetSmart. And we're going to put it in the aquarium and plant it in there. Should be nice. Digging around in the gravel stirred up quite a bit of sediment, but if we time lapse the video, you can watch the filters work and clear out the water. In just a few minutes, the hazy water clears up again. Okay, so as you saw when I put in those plants, how much sediment and uh, solid material came up and mixed into the water. I need to clean the rocks. And I want to, I've been waiting for an opportunity to show you a project that I can, that I think I can do um, with a Gatorade bottle. I have to finish drinking it first. And a tube, we can make a, a little vacuum that'll suck the, that'll clean the tank. Uh, scissors and a utility knife and a glue gun is what we're gonna use to get all this done. So we'll see if we can build this you can just go buy them from the store, but I think uh, this is just an easy way to build it and save a little bit, a little bit of money. Okay, so to start, we're gonna cut a hole in the lid. So I'm just gonna draw how big we need to cut that. Cut that out. Perfect. Okay, next we will just use a hot glue gun and we will glue all the way around and make a seal for the tube and the lid. Just do that on the inside. We'll do this on the outside. Nice bead of hot glue all the way around. And then we'll just do it again. Touch up anything that needs it here. Okay. 
Okay, that's great. Then we prepare our bottle. We'll just cut this label off. We are not advertising for Gatorade. Um, I don't have enough subscribers for that. We're at 72 subscribers right now. Maybe soon we'll be at 100. <clears throat> then we just cut the bottom of the bottle off. I like to use the Gatorade bottle because it's stiff. If you use those little plastic water bottles, then they just crumple. This will be nice and keep its shape as you're vacuuming up the gravel. Then what you do is you just take this and you put it on. And uh, voila, you have a vacuum. Let's go give it a try. Okay, so this gives me the opportunity to show you some cool features of my setup. You're in the back. This is the back behind. You've got the refugium up here, my sump down here, and the display tank is here. So I have a trickle filter. There's a siphon. These, these tubes are siphoning from the refugium, and they come down through this bag of bio balls, and there's activated carbon in the bottom. And it's just always trickling through and running. But when I'm vacuuming the tank, it takes too much water out of the tank, out of the display tank too fast. So I can counter that by taking these guys and I can just run them up into the display tank. they add a little bit of extra water going into the display tank as I'm taking water out with the siphon pump. So here is the uh, pump. I extended the tube and this is the vacuum that we just made. It just screws on, but when I start the siphon, it's a lot easier to not have this on. I can put it on later. So another nice thing about that. I'm just going to try and start my siphon instead of sucking water through it. I'm going to try and submerge it here in the sump. And see if I can get the siphon started that way. I just roll the tube around and around until I fill it up. I fill up the entire tube with water. So now with a tube, now with a tube full of water, I can just keep one end down here in the sump. I can put the other end down in the water of the display tank. And that creates a siphon. That water is just running out. Now when we vacuum up the water, a whole bunch of gunk. See our siphon's running. Got water running out the end of the siphon. Now I can just put that in my filter bag. And instead of having to lower that down, instead of having to pump that dirty water out into another bucket and worry about refilling my tank, the filter will just take care of it. It's time to change that filter anyway, so I'll clean the gravel and then I'll change the filter and change the carbon and everything will be clean and new and ready for another month. Here in the display tank we have the end of the tube that is sucking in water and we just take the vacuum chamber that we created and screw it onto the cap and we're ready to start vacuuming. The rocks and the gravel and water and the detritus will all get sucked up into the chamber but it's too big to pull the rocks all the way up into the small tube so the rocks get pulled up and they fall back down they get pulled up and mixed around and fall back down but the 
detritus and the all of the solid material in between the rocks is light enough that it gets sucked up into the tube and then caught in the filter down in the sump. That's a good one. You can see that water going up. If we just speed this up and time lapse me doing the rest of it, you can see as I push it down into the rocks, each time we get another puff of brown dust that comes out. And in this way, we clean the entire floor of the tank. So now we need to change the filter since we put all that yucky stuff in there. We'll just let our siphon hang down into the sump. And we'll take our filter off and open it up. Just dump out the bio ball. activated carbon. I used to just dump it in here but it got everywhere and so it's so much nicer to keep it contained in a small bag like this, small rubber band. Then I just have to open this up, just undo the rubber bands here. A giant rubber band. have your big clump of activated carbon that's been in there for a while. I'll go dump that in the garbage. So that pouch is empty now. And uh, I've just got some activated carbon here that's not spent. And we'll refill that pouch. This is just um, screen, nylon screen. We'll rewrap the rubber band around it. <clears throat> we have our washed replacement. So we'll just put that in the bottom of the bag. See the dirty one and the clean one. And the bio balls. They're full of bacteria colonies. And they go back in the bag. the bag so I can hang it up. So what I'm going to do is just use these tweezers and uh, jam this up in the tweezers and I'll use that to push it through to restring this filter. It comes right through. Use those tweezers for everything. And here we have a new clean filter that has old populated bio balls and a new activated carbon pouch ready to go. And then our siphon. tubes go back in. Just feed them through this and in. And they are trickling 
through the bio balls and out through the carbon and back down into the sun. And there you go. Okay, that was lots of fun cleaning out the filter, cleaning out the rocks. You got to maintain your tank in order to keep it looking beautiful. It's easy to have a fish tank look pretty when it's brand new. Six months later, a year later, you got to do maintenance in order to keep it looking sparkly and new. It's uh, time for these guys to go to bed. I'm going to turn out the lights and that water will clear up overnight in the morning. It'll be crystal clear and beautiful. I'm Jared Wood, this is Archer Fish Tank, reach outside 